What's going on, folks? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are back with another video, man. Now, for the people who are returning, man, I appreciate all y'all. Thank you for the new subs. And for the people who are new here checking this out, man, I just ask that you like this channel and like this video so we can boost this up in the algorithm, man. So, if you don't know, on my late situation, there was a dude who's going super viral right now for getting his girlfriend taken from him, and which is kind of crazy. People are going viral for uh, their relationship failures. But if you don't know, there's a girl. She was at Omalite Omale concert, which is a Nigerian artist, and she was dancing with a dude on stage with the artist on stage while her boyfriend was in the crowd. Now, she comes around and issues an apology. Now, here's the big deal about this because the apology seems a little bit self-centered, but I want to give bring you guys back to the beginning because not only did the video go viral, which I'll let you take a look at, But then the dude ends up going on Kassanat show, I mean Kassanat's stream and getting twenty thousand dollars, getting a new essentially a new girl and getting almost thirty thousand followers in ten minutes. So you can kind of see the value exchange here. But let's get straight into the clip of Kassanat. Yes, my brother. How yo, first thing I wanna say, bro, is welcome and I appreciate you. First things first, mm. bro, let's clear it up real quick. And I said to be real with me, is mm. what is what happened at the concert real? It's real, man. And, and, and how long was y'all dating for? Dating? Less than a year. Wait, why did I hear seven years? So that was a rumor? It, seven it years was a rumor? It was a rumor? Yeah, rumor. Okay, so there was a rumor, okay? Yeah. So you just cleared it yeah. up? Less than a, less than, I don't know where they got that rumor. Yeah, I cleared it up now. All right, yeah, clear it up. My, here's my thing. My thing is for you to just clear up anything that you don't, you feel what I'm saying, what people are saying and stuff like that. But also, I want to yeah. make sure that after today, bro, we going we going support when i seen that i was like my brother from mm. brother to brother let me go help you out okay cuz i was going on twitter and i seen what i seen my yo go ahead and go ahead and send me your cash app man i'm gonna send you a few thousands bro all right all right bro. i i i got you bro i'm gonna go ahead and, and send you a few thousands bro all right all right bro. all right have, have a good, yo have a good day and i appreciate you all right you too man have a good day boss all right bro yes sir he literally has the ability to do whatever he want. Bro, you gotta understand, but I probably not. So not only did she really embarrass her boyfriend on stage, now she wants to go on these shows and get compensated for basically publicly humiliating her boyfriend. But this just, this just goes to show you the times that we're in, that she didn't really care about what she did. She mostly went on the, on the stage regardless of how he felt or not. And if you haven't seen it, let me take you a closer look into what happened after the show. <laughs> It wasn't that bad, girl, like, those. You, you, were, you were holding the nigga's dick. The way that I put your phone on. So as you can see, you can hear even her friends are saying, yo, girl, it was that bad. You were holding his you-know-what. Now, this is the delusion that we have with girls who want to take their five minutes of fame and don't really value their long-term relationships. She took that five minutes of fame, and then she ends up getting kicked off of the sh not kicked off of the show, but she's straight right back to the streets. And as you can see, there are people literally laughing at dude in the middle of the street while she's standing over there talking to her friends and not even going after to solve the problem that she created with her boyfriend. Now, this just goes to show how lost in the sauce we are as a culture. And I can't really say as a culture because... People think this is only Western problems. No, this is all the way in Nigeria, and it's still happening. People think that it's only in America, and it's only black girls. No, this is happening all over the place. People are just disrespectful in relationships because clout is everywhere. If you have access to the internet, you have access to know what's going on, you have access to these types of thought processes that a lot of these women have. But now she calls herself making an apology. Let's check that out. What's your name? What's your name? Tell me your name. Yes. What's your name? Yes. It's the first one all the time. First of all, she goes on Instagram after she she goes on TikTok after the show and says, "Best time of my life at Omaha Lake concert. Love y'all." Now, if you really think about it, after all that happened, you still went on TikTok with you on stage and posted you had the best time of your life, knowing what you just did. Hi everyone. Um, I thought I was going to do story time and tell my side of the story because the amount of hate that I'm getting, I'm getting. I'm getting called all types of things that I've never even heard before. Like, it's getting a bit scary. And I keep coming and keep coming. Like, whoa. So, I really want to explain myself. Um, 
and address a few rumours as well. But obviously, before I get that started, I want to publicly apologise to him. Obviously, me and him, we've had private conversations where we spoke, but since it was public, I think the right thing for me to do is to publicly apologise to him. Like, that was bad, but, you know, I made it... It was honestly a mistake. I just... If I knew this would, like get this far, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go to the concert, I don't know, because this is not worth the hate that I'm receiving, but yeah, since it was public, I want to publicly apologise to him, so yeah, let's just get straight into like the, the story, uh, the rumours actually, I want to address the rumours first, so why am I, okay, first of all, first of all, who's Fafa? No, who's that person? Whoever said that my name was Fafa? Can you come? No, come please. Because how? I literally, I literally went on stage. I literally said my name is Jess. I said it twice. So I don't know how people are getting this in, like information from. That's not my name, please. Like no. Um, and also people saying that he's the one that bought the tickets. Who? I think who who told you that as well? Who said he's the one that bought the tickets? It was me. I'm the one that bought the tickets. I wouldn't mean him to have a good time because, you know, like, we're young. Like, real young. So, like, I thought this is a good thing to do. Let me just take my mind to a concert. Let's have fun. Like, that's it. There's nothing wrong with that. I beg, since when is it illegal to do so? Since when? That just tells you a lot because us women we can do things as well like if i want to take my man out i'll take my man out so so yeah like i said it was me anyways also me and him like we've had private conversations about going on stage with omele because he does this at his shows if you know if you really know omele you will know that he's done this in his past at his past concerts like this is what he does this is literally what he does like it's nothing new so obviously i said you know him at this conversation like i said to him um if i was to get called on stage i'm going to go on stage and he said that's fine like he's been saying that's fine like we me and him never ever ever had an issue with me going on stage even when the time came like i think there was a video where people were saying like i was moving away from him like i was pushing him away like no like Omele literally looked at me and said, he said, I want to you. This so obviously, I just got really excited because Omele is like one of my favourite artists. I don't care what anybody says. Like, you all have favourite artists. I didn't want to hear that. Like, so he's mine. So obviously, he's my favourite artist, not mine. Um, so obviously... I got really excited. I was just genuinely happy. And obviously, when I moved to the side, um, that was when he asked me to go on stage. I was just waiting for, um, obviously, the security to get me out of the crowd. That's why I was even stood there. Now, as you can see, she issues this weird, bland apology. She's more concerned about her self-image over actually what she did on stage. It seems like she doesn't really want to take accountability, calling it a mistake. But I guarantee that she went home with a dude and everything went fine in that area. She would not be calling this a mistake if she got maybe some cash, maybe a round of sex, or maybe she became the girlfriend. This would not be a mistake. It's only a mistake because you got publicly humiliated. You got basically dry humped on a stage in front of your boyfriend, lost your boyfriend, and then you lost your credibility as a woman. So a lot of people don't understand understand that though you may think that you're beautiful you're pretty but now that this video has gone viral you can't erase it so a lot of people are going to know your character and who you truly are truly are but you guys let me know how you feel about this what are your thoughts about this situation have you seen the situation leave a like on the video comment below man um i would say be careful out here because it's getting bad a lot of these women nowadays are just literally um running wild they have no respect for nobody and even respect for themselves if you saw the clips of how she was being managed on that stage boy you would have to say girl well, what is your problem? When your friends have to tell you it's that bad, that's when you know it bad. It's your boy, Dre. I'm gone.